Uh, hi everyone, White Thinny Cis Tano here, the internet's busiest music nerd, and it's time for a review of the new Sterilizer record. It's self-titled. This is the debut full-length album, sort of mini-album really, it just lasts 25 minutes, of this one-man musical project from Kansas City, Missouri. Spearheaded by a Mr. Brandon Duncan, who is a busy little musical bee. If you reach beyond the recently released music of Sterilizer, you will find that Brandon has put out much music in the past under a plethora of different names. And under some of these projects, he is solo as well, or has released multiple albums like Inchote and Mancubus, Seclusia, Robonaut, The Sequence of Prime. And in these projects, Brandon has experimented with everything from thrash metal to doom metal to sci-fi tinged soundtrack music, electronica. And while not a horror soundtrack itself, this new Sterilizer album certainly is horrifying with its very ominous symbol, its male-female album covers, and its track titles, which sort of tell a story of forced, mandatory sexual sterilization, a drop in population. The music on this record is violent. It is like watching grainy footage of a riot going on shot by a cheapo security camera. This album is the sound of napalm, of bottles getting thrown, of tanks, of shields of police sirens, smashed out storefront windows. And all of this is done within the genre of industrial metal, with just maybe a little bit of experimental and, and noise rock on the side. There are loads of brittle yet booming guitars on this record, just ear searing distortion. It's very lean and muscular recording with pummeling drums, which are kind of a mix of live drums and electronic. The cymbals are very, very distorted and sharp. It's kind of like I'm listening to some early god flesh, except even more nihilistic to a degree, and maybe a little shorter and, and to the point. Because with this album being 25 minutes and just having about eight tracks, it doesn't really overstay its welcome. But it still manages to leave a pretty lasting impression with the crushing, sort of militaristic riffs and drums of the opening track, Vasectomy. It's gruesome, but it's simple, and I love the grooves on this track and how they're constantly intensifying as the song progresses. The song Sterilizer is even more crushing with these thudding double bass drums and these kind of metallic percussive sounds hanging in the background that are quite eerie. There isn't much musically, melodically, to this composition, and that's kind of the same thing with every other track here. These songs are more about, I guess, the vibe the feel, the noise, the viscera, and the groove, than they are about being catchy, either melodically or lyrically, because there's nothing in the way of lyrics on this record. The song Discontent actually has one of the most legitimately catchy riffs on the entire record, and Domination kind of brings a very much needed change of pace to this very short album, with it being on the back end, and it is really more subdued than any other track here, and just goes in more of an electronic music direction, with some pitter-patter percussion and some very unsettling samples. I like this record a lot overall, but it is very short, and a lot of the songs here just kind of feel like motifs. Again, even though this record isn't a soundtrack, it still feels very much that Brandon is in that state of mind when he wrote these tracks. Because even though they are heavy and very loud, they're not that catchy, or not as catchy as I think they could be. And maybe that's because he's kind of scaling back the melody, scaling back any he could lay onto these tracks just because he just wants them to be sort of evocative of just some very destructive, ugly imagery. Almost as if he just wants these songs to accompany some very horrifying visuals at some point. If Brandon does decide to get more ambitious with this project into the future, I could see it turning out a little more interesting, though as is, I do think this record is pretty thrilling and is pretty just blood pumping. I'm feeling a strong six to a light seven on this thing, Tran. Zition, if you've given this record a listen, what did you think of it? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Why? What do you think I should review next? And that's it. Anthony Fantano, Sterilizer, 